Yo, what's good? I'm Jay, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make beats like 808 Mella. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you ain't, welcome back, bro. Out of all the drill producers out there, Mello is probably my favorite. Ha! <laughs> Gay! And his tracks with Pop Smoke are pretty much what got me into making drill in the first place, so salute to him. All right, so we started off with this melody from Khan Beats and Ilya 808. Ugh. All right, so here's what I had for the percussion pattern. And trust me, it's not as complex as it sounds. I'm gonna break it down for you. If drill percussion is something that you struggle with, what I recommend doing is opening up your door alongside this video and pretty much copying each layer that I'm about to show you until it sounds similar. Then delete that and then try and make it again from memory. And then delete that and then try and make your own unique pattern. I think that's one of the best ways that you can learn. All right, so I started off with this super simple perk pattern. Let me get rid of these. Then for some flair, I added these little rolls here and played with the velocity a bit. Next, I opened up the sound, went to this wrench here and then cranked up the feed a bit. This just makes it so the sound has a bit of echo and delay on it. All right, so what I did next was I brought in another count snare and made an alternate pattern just to vary up the bounce a bit. And I cranked up that echo and delay knob again and I applied a free plugin called Pancake, set that to one bar. For every one bar, the count snare jumps from air to air. Playing that with my main count snare pattern, you get this. Next, I threw in just a classic drill snare pattern, pretty self explanatory. Then I threw in this snap sound. I manually made it pan from left to right and then threw in this little open hat too. As you can hear with each layer, I didn't really do anything too crazy. But once you combine everything together, it sounds a lot more complex than it actually is. Next, I threw in an eight weight from my free pack, Rebirth. I'm free. Link in description if you want it. And I used the Heartless 808. Goddamn. And also use the Heartless 808 preset as well. Then I layered over this kick, which I pitched down to A sharp, put the velocity all the way up, and also layered over this open hat when the kick hits. For the first verse, I introduced like a little grind bass pattern. Now me personally, grind bass is for me, I find it really hard to get them to sound good. Usually when I try them in beats, it sounds like complete shit. So I try to keep my patterns as simple as possible. As you can see, literally all I'm doing is going up a note, then down a note, up a note, down, up a note, down, up a note, down. And also you don't want there to be too much going on. So you have to keep in mind that you have to keep your main 808 pattern quite simple so that in between the notes, you can do what you're doing with the grind bass. So as you can see here, main 808 hits, grind bass goes in between, main 808 hits, there's a bit of a pause, grind bass. For the intro, I just chopped up a piece of the main melody and just made it repeat itself and then applied half time. And I slowly introduced the different count and snare pattern and then threw in this little riser. <laughs> to break the beat up a bit, I just copied the melody from the intro and had no other sounds playing except for the count snare. And for the final verses, just to add some variation, I completely removed the kick and just had the 808s going. <laughs> Oh, 
For the mixing, I did not do much at all, and I usually never do. I just leveled the sounds, applied a bit of fresh air on the master, fruity soft clipper, and a bit of Ozone 9 just to widen the beat a bit and do a bit of light EQ. But you don't really need more than a soft clipper. Anyway, that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the like button. If you don't want to miss my next video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Drop a comment, let me know what you want to see next. If you guys want a more in-depth video about how I mix my drill beats, check out this video next. Click it. You know you want to.